Dean, another point on the board, but should have been free. Couldn't have, couldn't have really. You know, I think at the start of the second half, they had a couple of great opportunities to take the lead. Obviously, there's a lot of pressure on them, the position they're in. And obviously, we've got our own cause where we want to get a home, a home toy in the playoffs. Um, so from our point of view, to be one nil up sort of from the 80th minute and get that goal around the 84th minute, it's really disappointing to concede the way we did. So um, I didn't think we were at a fluent best today. Very scrappy game. Um, and we've got to raise the bar if, if, if when we go into the, the playoffs, we have to raise it. And then next week against Dagenham as well, we've got to raise the bar, we've got to perform to a better level. Fernandez came off at, uh, came off at half time. I assume that was down to the yellow card. What was the thing going to bring in Smith on to get that extra play up front? Smith's, if not our best player. Um, simple as that, you see the goal he scored. And Fernandez, um, he started brilliantly, did a great job for the team. Uh, I thought he made a fantastic challenge that he got booked for. And then obviously uh, they were trying to manage the referee. Uh, Maiden they were trying to manage the referee when there was a foul down here in the corner, trying to get him a second book. And so I just couldn't take that risk for him. But Smith just gives us a presence. Um, yeah, like I say, so it was important to get him on. Ideally, we, we don't want to be making subs at half time. Um, but air players have got to learn, they've got to be a little bit cuter. Like, I know I know Manny's just starting out in his career, but he's got to be a bit more reliable and a little bit cuter, a little bit more streetwise in them kind of scenarios. He's diving in trying to make a tackle that, realistically, it was a borderline yellow card. I think if he wasn't booked, he would have got a fourth yellow card for it. So we just couldn't take that risk anymore. Obviously, Smith came on for Fernandez, like you say, because of the, the yellow card. He picked up a nasty clash of heads again, after, especially after a few weeks after what's just happened at Gateshead. How is, how is Harry? Yeah, he's just got a little cut on the, on the top of his head. There's nothing to do with his eyes. A tiny little cut on the top of his head. So a little bit of claret. It's good for the game. Um, and he's aggressive. That's how he plays. You know, he's a street fighter. He gets stuck in. He wants to, wants to manhandle defenders. Look at his goal. What a goal that is. What a header. So, yeah, he's good as gold. Nothing wrong with him whatsoever. He'll be ready to go next week. And like you said, you just mentioned the goal there. Excellent header from him. Unbelievable, it's a throwback, isn't it? Now, into the stanchion from a header from the edge of the box. So, it reminded me of the goal away at Dorkin. So, he's such a handful. Um, yeah, and if we can supply him with the right service, he'll continue to score goals for us. We've come to Maidenhead today, and we've had this thing the last few weeks. We're going to the teams that are going away to the teams at the bottom of the table and struggling to get the wins. Is, what do you put that down to? Lack of quality from us on several scenarios. Ideally, you want to pick the same team every week. Injuries, obviously, Cropsey today, we can't really start him because he's had a full week. He, he, he played 90 last Saturday and then obviously played 90 on Tuesday, so we've just got to manage that minutes. We've got a lot of lads come back from injury. Nicky's been out for two or three weeks, so he's managed to get more minutes under his belt. Smith obviously played two games in a, in a week. That would have been his tour, so we couldn't really start him. So it's just managing minutes and not taking risks uh, when, when we're in the position we are. Um, I think some of our players today didn't perform to the, the standards or the levels they've set themselves. I've got to be honest. I thought our back three were excellent. I thought Laurie was excellent apart from the error he made for the goal. Um, but I thought the rest of his game was routine for him. Um, and then some of the other lads need to step up and start performing to the, to the standards they've set themselves. Someone who else returned to the squad today, Dale Gorman. How good was it getting him back in the squad today? Yeah, he's a captain. Uh, he's a leader for us. Um, took him a bit of a while to get going, he played much better second half, he influenced the game much more second half, so, so it's good to get him 90 minutes under his belt as well. And just finally, on the fans, they came down today in their numbers, sung all, all the way through, what's your message to them? Yeah, thanks for positive support again, uh, it's just a pity we couldn't take all three points, but look, we respect the point, and now we move on to the next game, it's a massive week for us now, you know, we've got to go and make sure we beat Dagenham next week, and then we'll go and see where we come come uh, sort of next Saturday, see where we come in the division and, and see what happens the week after for the playoffs. So it's a, it's a huge week for us. Um, hopefully we can recover well. And I uh, just want to thank them for the positive support and everything everything the players have shown for them, the togetherness, uh, the honesty of them as well. So the way they clapped us off at the end. Uh, so I'm delighted. At the end of the day, it's important not to get beat. I think that's very important, especially in away games. We've been excellent at home, so I think it's imperative we, we need to get a home toy sort of for the eliminator. You mentioned about the, uh, during the week about fatigue in the squad. This is now like the first time in what seems almost January since we've had a full week to prepare for a game. How well will we use that to just get the players back to full fitness? Yeah, it's massive. It's massive. You get contact time with the players. You can, you can, do, you can have more time on the training ground. It's huge. It'll be, it'll be a big part of the detail. So we don't have a midweek game. So um, I'm actually looking forward to it, to be fair. Dean, thank you for your time. Cheers, Tom.